Sock on knock on police make a grim discovery. Two steel coffins submerged in a pond, a double murder. Thai steel coffin horror, a wealthy family's cruel demise, sinister crime shocks Sock on knock on province. A son lures his father and sister to a pond, trapping them in specially made steel coffins. A ghastly and evil scene unfolds with the killer behaving wildly. Police try to make sense out of madness and unravel the dark motive behind a macabre crime. A chilling and macabre crime was discovered by police in Sakon Nakan early on Tuesday morning. Called by worried locals to a scene near a pond, they found two submerged steel boxes. At the same time, a 35-year-old man was wildly shouting and behaving abnormally. At length, once officers retrieved the submerged boxes sealed with iron chains, they revealed themselves to be coffins. Subsequently, the bodies of an elderly man and a young woman were found in each. Police early on Tuesday morning at the scene of the macabre discovery at a pond in Sakon Nakan province. Inset, the main suspect, 35-year-old Mr. Warut, is thought to have masterminded the truly evil murder of his 33-year-old sister and 66-year-old father in a hideous manner. In another horrific crime from Thailand's provinces, a scion of a wealthy family has been arrested. It is the second sadistic murder reported in 24 hours. Earlier, there were confirmed reports of a young woman being buried alive in Mahusarakam. Evidently, the man lured his adult sister and elderly father to a pond and drowned the pair incarcerated separately in steel boxes. 35-year-old man detained by police facing premeditated homicide charges. Police aghast at what appeared to be a premeditated act of torture and murder. The grim and disturbing murders unfolded in Sakon Nakhon province, in upper northeastern Thailand. At length, a 35-year-old man, identified as Mr. Warut, has been detained for the alleged murder of his father and younger sister. The horrific details reveal a carefully planned and executed crime. This was both torture and murder carried out with extreme prejudice. An act of evil. Certainly, it involved the use of two iron coffins submerged in a pond. The steel coffins were located in three meters of water. The ghastly story has sent shockwaves through the community. The gruesome incident came to light when revealed by residents of Ban Sangui and Funkone district on Monday night. In short, police were alerted to the disappearance of two large steel boxes that had been briefly seen beside a pond. Swift response by police who arrived at the pond at 1 a.m. on Tuesday morning. They met the suspect ranting and shouting wildly after murdering his family. After that, swift action by the police and rescue workers led to the discovery of the two steel boxes. The containers with the doors sealed with chains were discovered submerged in the pond around 1 a.m. on January 9, 2024. After the boxes were raised to the surface and opened, the lifeless bodies of a man and a woman were revealed. They were identified later as 66-year-old Mr. Prayut and his 33-year-old daughter, Ms. Fiang Pen. The son of the family, Mr. Warut, was found at the scene. Straight away, police noticed he was behaving erratically. He was subsequently detained for questioning. The family hailed from Saong Den Din district. Certainly, they are known to be quite affluent and own a three-story dormitory. Significantly, it was disclosed that the mother had passed away just a few months prior, in October last year. Fiendish planned to murder sister and father and specially built steel boxes. Constructed by a local fabrication shop for 12,000. Said they were for fishing. Further investigations uncovered a chilling plot orchestrated by Mr. Warut. Police are particularly interested in the fact that he ordered the two large steel boxes from a local welding shop. This was on November 25, 2023. The younger man paid 12,000 for their construction. He claimed they were intended for fishing gear. Subsequently, Mr. Warut went on to elaborate that they would be used for making YouTube content. The boxes were completed and delivered to a community hall in Saong Den Din district. The shop owner, whose name has been withheld, expressed shock upon learning that the steel boxes his shop crafted were used in such a horrific manner. Recounting Mr. Warut's interactions during the order process, he claimed that there were no apparent abnormalities in his behavior. Describing Mr. Warut as polite and well-educated, the shop owner could not fathom that he would commit such evil. Media told the family appeared to live a normal life until the death of the matriarch in October last year. Reports of tensions between son and father. Lt. Col. Wasan Jaiman, Chief Inspector of Saong Den Din Police Station, reported the family had recently informed relatives they were embarking on a trip. The destination was Pumipuan Dam in Tak Province. They were to leave their home around noon on January 8, 2024. The motive behind these gruesome murders remains unclear. Mr. Warut confessed to ordering the steel boxes out of anger, 
following an argument and having his line blocked. The revelation of this brutal atrocity has left a community and extended family in a state of shock. Local people struggle to comprehend the horror and evil that unfolded within the seemingly ordinary family. The three-story dormitory that housed the victims stood as a silent witness on Tuesday. Undoubtedly, this was sensational news as reporters gathered there to explain to media audiences a truly heinous criminal act. The local residents, although taken aback by the tragedy, insisted the local family had been leading a normal life. Reports of a history of psychiatric treatment and disorder. Police investigators are now delving deeper into the family's history. Firstly, they were attempting to ascertain whether there were any signs of discord or violent tendencies. The accused, Mr. Warroot, reportedly displayed psychiatric symptoms. Significantly, the suspect had previously received treatment at Someday Prayaparat Song Denden Hospital. Relatives of the accused and the deceased have been similarly left bewildered. Mr. Prayat's sister, who is also Mr. Warut's aunt, recalled that the family left the dormitory key. In short, Mr. Warut claimed they were going to Pumipuan Dam in Tak province. She mentioned she had not seen her nephew for an extended period, only encountering him again recently. The family dynamics appeared strained. Particularly after an argument developed between Mr. Warut and his father following the death of their mother in October 2023. As the investigation continues, numerous unanswered questions surround this macabre double homicide. Police are looking for the motive behind Mr. Warut's actions. In the meantime, investigators want to establish the extent of his psychiatric condition. Besides, this is yet to be officially confirmed. Case recalls case of ice metal casket in Bangkok in 2020 where a killer kept piranha fish and a murder victim was found in a submerged steel coffin. The charges brought against him at this time include killing others and killing parents with premeditation, with additional charges pending further investigation and evidence collection. The use of a steel coffin and the murders at a pond bear a remarkable resemblance to another criminal case. At length, this was a dark and sinister story which emerged in Bangkok in 2020. Bangkok murder pond searched as police may have arrested an evil serial killer just like his father in 1983. Sadistic murderer ice metal casket sentenced for rape of a woman at gunpoint and latest conviction. Then a 41-year-old man was arrested for murdering his girlfriend in 2019. Locals feared this man because of his evil aura. Additionally, there were credible rumors that he kept piranha fish in a pond on his property. He was reputed to feed his enemies to them. This was the pond where the body of his beautiful girlfriend Ms. Warin Thorn Chiashe or Kook Kick was discovered. Police searched it in 2020 after she was murdered by him in August 2019. She was also found in a submerged iron container. The culprit, Mr. Apache Iong Wist, was a known drug dealer whose father was shot dead in 1983. Police were similarly investigating him for murdering a young woman. The family had extensive property interests in the Banki area of Bangkok. His mother subsequently fled Thailand with his sister. Mr. Apache became known and feared thereafter as Ice Metal Casket. He was subsequently convicted of the rape of another woman at his substantial property in the Banki a year later. The verdict and sentence of a further 10 years were delivered to him in prison.